Hi, I'm Jason Gray. Do you own a business that's struggling at the moment, declining or staying stagnant? Are you looking to help your bosses or employers business grow? Are you thinking about going into business for yourself? Or do you just want to get more out of life and have a more enriching life? If you say yes to any of those questions, stay tuned for this book breakdown. All right, we're gonna be going through The Connector's Way by Patrick Galvin, all right? Short, easy read, but a very, very, very important book for anyone just going into business or who's in business that's not super succeeding to read. Um, the tips, basically there's one tip in here that is just so simple but revolutionary, and anyone who has a successful business or a business that's doing well, they would agree with what's going on in here. All right, so let's jump into it. I got a couple quotes I want to share with you and then I want to share with you seven tips. So stay all the way to the end, you'll get those seven tips. Hey, if you like videos like this, give the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming ones. So the first uh, quote is, nothing happens behind a desk. Look, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to be one, you're at a high level, yes, in the early days or years, you might be working in the business, helping clients, helping kind of ground level activities. But at the same time, you have to be thinking of a, from the highest level of working on the business. How do I grow it? How do I expand it? And while we are in a time where social media is helpful and we can reach a lot of people from a computer, for most people's businesses, it's not going to be enough. All right. And so when we sit here and we get lost in social media and paperwork and small level tasks, it's not very helpful, all right? So get out from behind your desk, go make things happen. Um, so the, the struggling business owner in this book, his name was Robert, and he was asking a very successful person who owned um, like a tree trimming business and things to do with trees. And he said, Terry, the guy who owns the, the successful business, What's your secret for keeping customers so long? And Terry said, it's simple, actually. I'm a tree teacher first and a tree trimmer second. What value are you providing to your clientele? A lot of times people would prefer to be in the know and to get more value from you and be taught something first than just quickly sold and treat like a transaction. So I think that's one of the biggest takeaways from the book and we all got to stop and analyze our business. Are we just 100% transactional? If so, it's kind of like the rat race. We're in, stuck in that wheel over and over and over again. Or are we more relational? And you can't just be relational. Hey, I'm a nice guy uh, and never close the deal, right? So you got to combine the two really. All right, so get out your pen. Here are uh, seven rules for building business one relationship at a time. And the moral of this story is it's all about relationships, the moral of this book, I should say. And if you read through it, you'll see that there's a couple of really strong examples that can make you say, aha, or oh yeah. And so that's why I think you should pick up the book. But here's the seven tips. One, nurture body and mind to create positive energy and enthusiasm that attracts others. And if you review up here, uh, the book that we did on what to say when you talk to yourself, it's about that. Always being positive, having the right energy, thinking inside first, and that's gonna come out, and that's gonna attract what comes in, okay? Tip number two, seek out individuals who expose you to new thinking. That's why I love if you guys uh, engage here in the comments so we're new people engaging in different thinking and learning with and from each other, right? Uh, number three, ask your connections how you can be of service to them. So number three is all about you giving. Well, you give to get, right? So givers gain. Who can you call today? Put, put a comment below if, you, if you've called somebody and how it went. Who can you call today or go see and give them something? Be of service to them with not expecting anything in return. All right? So see if you can go do that. Number four. Serve others without consideration of how it benefits you. Look, if you just serve and love on people, and that's another book uh, that we reviewed, 
um, about uh, love everybody always, but if you're serving and loving on others, you're going to feel great. You're going to be of great value and doing great things. But in return, if you're not even expecting things to come back, but we all know what you put out does come back, right? Number five, exceed expectations. I don't care right now if you're a janitor, a student, someone that's went through a hard time, wherever you are, be the best. Exceed expectations. Go above and beyond, even if it costs you a little time or a little money right now. Uh, imagine what that habit will turn into in the future, especially when it comes to business as far as brand and loyalty and relationship. Okay? Number six, let people know how they can help you succeed. So yeah, you're doing this first five steps about others and serving, but if you don't let people know how they can help you, they're not going to usually, right? And it's okay if you've put a lot of deposits into the, the bank account of, of people, once in a while you can withdraw, right? Jab, 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 right hook like Gary Vee. And then the seventh tip is be grateful, okay? Be grateful. Now, it all comes down to relationships, lots of different ways to make relationships, lots of different ways to observe how people are interacting in theirs and to learn from those too. So I encourage you to pick up the book. Uh, if you like this, let me know. And the next book I will be reviewing, I've got two different ones. One is another Les Giblin book, which is great. And the other book I'm reading right now is Love Does by Bob Goff. Both are great people book and inspiring and you're going to want to hear the takeaways from those so subscribe and you won't miss them until then join me in the pursuit of greatness <laughs>